Okay, let's start it. Uh, 10.46 a.m. Thursday, September 6, 2012. Um, so yesterday I ended up, this is going to be a personal chat, yesterday I ended up going to the IRS. Uh, they have a proxy, um, a proxy office set up in Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, like, 10 minute drive. Um, really close, within the county. Uh, and you know, Uh, you know, it's a nice place, it's a nice location, and, I mean, decent, uh, it looks like they're leasing, uh, like a floor of a building, and there's a lot of different, um, professional services that are, uh, that other businesses are leasing within the building, but that's okay, it's a, it's a proxy office, uh, it's set up to help you, uh, understand and to file taxes, so I walk in there, it will Pleasant. There's only uh, two two people ahead of me. I get a little ticket. Uh, I select that. I'm not. There's another reason I'm there. I sit down. There's the uh, you know, a person that's looking at me, not judging me. That wants to you know, sitting there wants to help me. This is a government. This is a federal government agency. And you know, I tell her I'm here to try to understand what I need to do. I've never filed for taxes. I'm 27 years old and. Uh, we begin there, and she ended up printing me out. Uh, she ended up printing me out all these uh, documents from over the years uh, that the government has on me for uh, companies that I worked for that reported my wages to the government. Uh, companies have to do that when they have uh, employees. I guess legal companies, because over you know at the same time I worked for uh, different I guess companies or whatever, and I got paid in cash, and they didn't deal with that kind of stuff. So uh, it was it, you know it took me down memory lane. It was pretty fun to see all of this, and I got a total amount of the money I was making. You know it's pretty cool to see all this, and there's so much of it. Not I think a lot of it. You know I've had so many jobs, um, and I'm going back there on Thursday with. Uh, the information I, ha I need to have prepared for my uh, uh, for the times that I was self-employed and did not work for a company but had my own company and was uh, uh, in a partnership with somebody else working on another company and among other little thing, little tidbits there and there uh, and they're gonna help me organize this all and file for my taxes. Uh, I'm hoping that I would, you know, uh, I don't have to owe them money, but I might owe them money because for the times that I was self-employed, I don't know, I don't know how to, but I didn't make much money, I didn't, you know, I'm looking at this, this is not like a tremendous amount of, I, this is, I, I made, I'm, I mean, this is like poverty level, this is below poverty level, that I, I, the, or my earnings are below poverty level, it's pretty funny. And that's I'm okay to live like this, but it's okay. So I've been working on this. Uh, there's a lot that I need to do. I've been looking for various documents and trying to tally up costs because uh, there's revenue, there's cost, there's profit, all of that kind of stuff. And I want to be as accurate as possible with it. I want to make sure I do it right, not just I do it, which I came up with. Uh, um, I came up with this for the government that is something done right is greater than something done at all so in terms of government some, it, it needs to be done right everything needs to be done right uh, I'm still sick my nose just got stuffed up uh, the stuff I wrote on the walls behind me and then here uh, is not erasable. I made a mistake. I didn't know. Uh, they were dry erase, dry erase board markers, but uh, it doesn't wash off. Ah, I to, this is a wreck. Um, so I have to paint over it. I, I do have paint, and I plan on painting over it. I was because I was planning on erasing it so I can write more stuff. 
because the, the purpose of, of, of writing it that way is because I'm I don't have that much space and when you uh, it's a good idea when you have ideas or you have um, there's something that you're working on you stretch out you stretch out the ideas you get yourself you, pro everything has to be properly assigned not properly assigned but um, just in its place that you can use to research it's, it's I cannot explain how it, the mechanics to it but it's something that needs to be done it's that just needs to be done um, so I have this box of stuff that I thought was just all receipts but there's a lot of interesting stuff there now it took me down you know just memory lane some stuff I I was reminded of when I was uh, working for this man when he came from Russia to have uh, an operation on his brain in New York City and, uh, and this is his girlfriend and that's his son first son and that's the father of his second son's wife and I worked with his second son as well on a business that we were planning on doing but, uh, to be quite honest, I lost interest, and I just didn't feel it, didn't feel right. I don't think we had a connection. It was just money. Uh, so that's good. His name is also Oleg, the guy, the person I was driving to the hospital and back. Um, not the whole time initially, I was taking his uh, girlfriend back and forth well he was in the post post operation but then he had to undergo uh, radiology as the operation did not fully remove the cancer in his brain so he did radiology and I learned a lot about not a lot but uh, I got an understanding of, of medicine and on a I guess on a high level not simply uh, you know you, you break your arm and you have to go to the doctor but something a little complicated is radiology when they shoot a laser at um, somewhere in your body where there is cancer or belief that there is cancer or evidence of cancer I don't know um, at the same time I found some um, information that I got when I became a citizen a United States citizen and uh, what I want to do is, it's unfortunate that I'm sick. Maybe I'll try to, uh, I'll try to do something with my throat and my nose. But I, I was thinking to myself, you know, this is some really, really interesting stuff. Uh, making a really interesting video by just simply reading it. I mean, this is some really strong. This is this is the foundational thought process, uh, the foundational ideologies of the United States. In here some history this is some really interesting stuff and some pictures but I also have um, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States by the way speaking of which um, it is imperative for you know if, if uh, for running for this public office position once I get settled a little bit more settled in that I memorize the United States Constitution to the dot. Like a priest can reference the Bible by having a conversation with you. I have to have it memorized. Sorry. So I have actually two Declaration of Independence and uh, wait. I actually, oh. I'm confused. Yeah, I have actually. This, this is. It's not like. It's not a complicated thing. Though. What, what, to the contrary, to maybe to popular belief, that the, this, there's so many million different types of laws or anything like that. It, everything's been added on like separately by each state, and then each. Yeah, pretty much each state. There's a state constitution and there's a federal constitution. Uh, the federal constitution is very important. And the state constitution, not so much, because 
you can change that. You, it's much, much easier, I think, to change the state constitution than the federal constitution. Uh, because, I mean, in New Jersey, uh, you've had a, a comp you had a new constitution that was uh, amended or ratified in 1947 or 1957, so about 60, 70 years, yeah, 60, 70 years ago, uh, or more like maybe 70, 80, uh, a new constitution was, uh, was brought on. Not like something within the constitution changed, just a whole brand new constitution. Um, as opposed to the federal, the more traditional, you know, traditionally speak, uh, uh, as opposed to the United States Constitu Constitution. What I meant to say with that is with popular belief is most people think that there's only one Constitution. Uh, I think most people are very uh, ill-educated or uneducated about the government and basic stuff too. Uh, what are your rights? I don't know. I can go to work. Hmm. There's more to <laughs> there's more to it than that. Uh, uh, there's a lot more to it than that. <coughs> and I found my diploma, my high school diploma. And this is what I got for graduating high school. I got this like nice diploma, I got this nice book, I got the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of New Jersey. Uh, and um, And this is what <laughs> this is the only thing I got when I graduated uh, Berkeley Community College. That's it. Just shitty folder. No, that's okay. I mean, th th these are, I mean, these are little things though. But you know, like th this is really useful. I, I wonder how many how many uh, classmates of the of my year, two thousand four, actually sat down and read this thing that they got. Maybe a few. Uh, so that's so that's where I'm at in terms of uh, where I'm where I'm at. I need to do my taxes. Uh, I'm almost done finding the information. Um, Oh, at the same time, no, there's another thing that I need to do. Uh, I need to get my drug. Um, I'm not sure where it is. I basically have papers here. So let me just scatter around for the time being. Uh, I need to take, I need to close my, you know, as far as the state of New Jersey is concerned, uh, it, I think they're still under the impression that I'm operating a business, but I'm not for the past uh, at least a year and a half. Uh, when I filed for uh, a business to get um, a federal tax employer ID and some other nonsense, nonsense stuff that I, in in retrospect, I didn't really necessarily need to do all of that for what I wanted to do, um, as it was. Well, maybe I did. Actually, yeah, I did, yeah I did. It was the right thing to do, but I didn't do it the way that it needed to be done. Like I didn't do it the right way, and the fault was I didn't know how to, or possibly uh, there's just um, at the time. I was forced to wear so many different hats where if it was done the proper way, uh, assuming I had the, the seed money, the capital money to do it the way that it needed to be done, there would have been initially at, at least 10 employees. But because I was limited to what I had in terms of money, uh, I had to do everything by myself. So everything was pushed onto me and 
there's some plus side to it, there's some negative side to it. The plus side is to it is the experience that I got, the negative side to it is, well, it didn't really go far. Uh, it could have gone a lot further, uh, but maybe it's better it didn't go because then I would have been forced to have employees running a business that I had no interest in doing. And it would have been that typical case scenario that I think happens very often in today's society where people live their lives year after year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, all their life doing something that they hate and then dying. And then the cycle continues, unfortunately. Uh, I think it's very important to do what you want to do or you do what you feel you want to do or you do what you feel you were built for as we're all we're all different people we're all we're all built a certain way based on the experiences that we had as we were aging um, you know uh, Uh, somebody brushing up against a priest maybe might think to go into a field or to do something with their life that involves people and helping people as opposed to somebody might think uh, whatever um, we all have we, re we react differently to different situations and different experiences in life that shape us to who we are today Um, yeah. Okay. I think that's that.